Outriders has been a mystery for the last eight months, with nary a peep about gameplay, plot, or when we can expect to buy it. That all recently changed, we now know that Outriders is a co-op RPG shooter dropping holiday 2020 on Xbox One, PS4, PC, and the new kids on the block, PS5 and Xbox Series X. But what exactly is Outriders offering us at the turn of a gaming generation? Outriders is something familiar but different, and sometimes surreal, like if David Lynch made an RPG shooter after studying their intricacies for a decade. You get Gears of War style cover, a pool of powers designed to be used in tandem with firearms, a veritable smorgasbord of customizable gear and weaponry, and the satisfying uptick of numbers flying out of enemies' heads. There's military muscle facing an unknown entity with dry, cool guy retorts, the persistent threat from different alien species, and bloody, grimace-inducing death animations. Sometimes Outriders feels like Mass Effect, sometimes it feels like Gears of War, sometimes it feels like Bulletstorm but looks like Destiny, but when it hits right, Outriders feels like the legitimate love child of the best games of the last decade. If you've played any shooter in that time frame, you'll find comfort in Outriders, but that comfort dissipates as the plot moves forward at a breakneck and bizarre pace and enemies grow more difficult mid-fight, two key features that make it stand out from its immediate and upcoming competition. You, an outrider, have come to a planet called Enoch along with a party of researchers and scientists, all of whom seek to colonise it after Earth's destruction. But Enoch has other plans. A strange power known as the Anomaly emanates from the planet. That power spawns savage enemy storms that thrash its landscapes and influence its wildlife. When Anomaly storms smash the outriders and company, members of the team are either completely destroyed or irreversible altered. Before your Outrider realises they've been imbued with some serious space energy, however, they're shoved back into cryosleep, only to wake 30 years later to a changed planet and a changed self. Thanks to the Anomaly, you can choose from one of three classes. Pyromancer, a mid-ranged fighter that uses volcanic energy to create walls of flames. Tricksters, close-range brawlers that manipulate time and space. And Devastators, tanks that use Enoch's energy for brute force. I played as the Pyromancer and there was a 15 second cooldown for my left bumper skill, which ripples the ground with lava, and around 20 seconds for my right bumper which shot forward a powerful wall of fire, and 45 seconds for my most powerful skill, temporarily encasing all surrounding enemies in ash. A steady combination of these skills and my weapons easily dispatched most of my enemies. In Outriders, you've got a virtually consistent stream of abilities used in tandem with hundreds of guns that reportedly have countless crafting and customization permutations. Outriders is built for co-op and difficulty is based on world tier, which flexes with you as you battle through the game. There's a bar in the top left corner of the screen that keeps track of your world tier, it fills as you fight and if you're doing really well, it fills quicker. The higher the level, the higher the difficulty, so playing solo meant I did fairly well at the start, but by the time I got to an especially hard fight, I was struggling. You can certainly play Outriders Ride and Solo, but I'm not sure you'd want to. It's billed as a co-op RPG and you'll have the most fun playing it that way, although you can only play online co-op which may be a deterrent for some. The weapons could feel a bit weightier as I found them lacking that satisfying heftiness that comes with games like Gears and Apex Legends, but that might change as you progress further into Enoch. People Can Fly has focused intently on Outriders gameplay and its complete story, which is available out of the box, no limited time content or seasons or pay to play content. Outriders is poised to bowl us over with a killer story and fluid, fun and fantastical co-op gameplay. I spent three hours on Enoch and was left wanting more. More access to the branches on my massive skill tree, more weapons to craft and customise and most importantly more story. And that's saying something, isn't it?